welcome. And today we have a Masterminds documentary. I'm your show host, Dominica Herrera. Today we have Desiree Torres. Welcome, Hi. Desiree. Hi. <laughs> so Desiree is also known as Des in the fashion world. So Des, tell our audience, who is Des? Des. Um, well, Des Torres is what I go by. Full name is Desiree Torres. Um, I am a mother of two beautiful children, one daughter that has special needs, and my son who is a teenager in high school. Um, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. Uh, both of my parents are here, originally lived here in San Antonio. I'm from, born and raised here in San Antonio. And um, I'm actually, I've been able to experience living out in the Chicago area for a couple of years where Des and the fashion world kind of bloomed for me because a lot of doors actually opened out there for me. Okay. So um, I figured, let me come back to San Antonio and live out a dream, passion. Mm -hmm. My passion has always been fashion. So oh, yes. I said, let me take a leap of faith and I'm gonna go dive right in. And that's when I started the online boutique, which is Deja Chanel Boutique. Mm -hmm. And so that's where it all basically started. So why Deja <clears throat> Chanel? Deja Chanel um, is inspired from my daughter, um, whose full name is Mar Deja Chanel. And so what we did is we kind of just cut it up a little bit from her mm -hmm. first name. So it's Deja Chanel Boutique. Beautiful, yes. beautiful. <laughs> um, so tell me about the online boutique. Are you going to feature women's and men's fashion? That's a good question. Actually, mm -hmm. I did have both men and women mm -hmm. clothing available online, but as of recently, okay. I've decided to go without the men's, oh. not because we're going anywhere, but to let you guys in on a secret, we're going to actually be launching our men's collection on a separate side, so it'll be a separate business mm -hmm. um, along and attached to Deja Chanel Boutique, but okay. again, just the men's by itself okay but you're still gonna have it yes okay so you guys are good yes, yes. <laughs> and what kind of sizes are we gonna see on there well for my women's um it ranges anywhere from extra small all the way to large extra large another thing that i'm trying to do um it takes time but i'm really really building on it um is getting a curvy side so our plus sizes mm -hmm. are going to be available soon hopefully nice um and then That's for good. our men's side mm -hmm. um it's standard sizes small medium large extra large i know recently I've, I've had to style a couple of music artists where they're really tall oh, and yeah. so they have what issues do they call that? tall and big and tall big they and have tall like a men. right yeah. So I'm gonna try to get in also those type of sizes just in case if we have any future artists that are coming on board too. Awesome. Um, so celebrities, you right? Know, superstars. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> yes. How do you balance family life with everything you have going on? I don't. It's, it's <laughs> crazy. It's chaotic. Um, I, it's, it's really, really hard, um, as you guys know, and that I mentioned, my daughter is special needs, so, you know, a lot of our days are based off of routine, um, mainly to keep her, you know, on track, as well as my son as well, you know, he's now in, in high school years mm -hmm. where he's got, you know, projects, and he's got, um, you know, football games, and all this other stuff, so. A lot going on. Right, so mm -hmm. having to maintain that, and then the business, it's, you know, no matter what, my kids will always come first. Um, Absolutely, so, Absolutely. So in that case, you know, I make sure that my priorities are done first, which is, you know, taking care of the kids, family, and then I just kind of, when my kids are asleep, that's when I'm awake. Yeah. So it could be three, four <laughs> o'clock in the morning, and I'm still on there, on the internet, doing research, trying yeah. to get knowledge, um, and be knowledgeable more on, you know, my business, businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how I kind of try to, you know, balance it all out. So what drives and motivates you? My children. My, I mean, my children are my why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all the time. Um, I definitely want to leave something mm -hmm. for them in case. If anything were to ever happen to me, I want mm -hmm. 
them to be able to fall back on something and be able to just pick up and go from where I left off, you know, and hopefully I'm here long enough to where um, everything will be established and ready to go where they can just come in at any time or I could still take care of everything and, you know, yeah. but mainly it's it's for them. Um, so they are, are they watching one. you? Are they learning like as you're doing stuff? And my 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 daughter actually, um, in some cases, when I have a particular dress, let's say, mm -hmm. and it comes in multiple colors, I'll try to say, Deja, you like this one or you like this one? So I kind of want to mm -hmm. include her in get me. her opinion on right it. and mm -hmm. so i try to get her yeah. involved as much as i can she's still trying to comprehend things you know mm -hmm. as she's getting older um so that's with deja now with my son mm -hmm. he's actually my men's collection is going to be representation and inspiration from him so it's going to be so cool yes so <laughs> i'm going to be able to get um, his input his input in sweaters or hoodies or different trends that are going on because of course he's yeah. younger and he knows. They, he, know they know that, that generation knows <laughs> yes all the good stuff so he'll be able to have some input in that too that's awesome so yes what's your favorite outfit oh my god um right now <laughs> being that we're gonna get into spring i love white legged pants palazzo pants with mm -hmm. either a crop top or a graphic tee that's probably my go-to right now because you're still able to look sexy, but you're yeah. comfortable, and you can accessorize it with a nice heel. I mean, it could all come together really super nicely. Cute, super yes. cute. Super <laughs> cute. So why did you choose Art Pace? Art Pace. Um, I definitely wanted to have a rooftop experience for everybody. Oh, yes. I know that April is really close to Fiesta, so I know mm -hmm. we normally have, like, summer in mm -hmm. like early on so oh, we have yeah. beautiful it's days <laughs> right so i definitely wanted to have a rooftop experience and then um also be able to be downtown mm -hmm. to be able to look around and look off to all of the you know the businesses it overlooks at our pace you if you've never been there it actually has um a whole bunch of buildings small businesses surroundings nice buildings so i just mm -hmm. wanted to definitely take some some time and get the at nighttime i know that the the lights they look amazing so the scenery yes beautiful definitely. beautiful good idea I, I like what you envisioned i really yes. I truly do um so does tell our audience and tell everyone they want to follow you if they want to tweet you if they want to uh, Instagram, <laughs> all of it, right? All of it, or they want to shop for your Deja Chanel boutique. Tell them how to reach you in your social media. Absolutely. Well, you can definitely shop online at www.dejachanel.com. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're writing that down now. Yes. Which pin? It's D E S J A C H A N E L dot com. Um, we are also on Instagram, which is Deja Chanel of course with the at symbol and then on facebook we're on there as deja chanel boutique so there's several different um options to actually shop or just to get a hold of us if needed absolutely so make sure you guys write that down i know you'll have facebook instagram i always see all on your phone so make sure you're <laughs> following deja chanel yes and go buy some of her clothes it's amazing she has beautiful stuff on there thank you thank you and let's get started in the documentary so we're going to check it out and we're going to look at the clips of what happened Ooh. and I want you Des, we're going to go in and out and tell us all about it, your thoughts, your feelings, what you thought. So you many. Felt. Yes. <laughs> we're going to talk about it right now. Alrighty. Des, Des, let's go. It's time. Today's a fashion show. Oh no, I'm so tired. Tired? Please. Today is your day. Desiree Torres. Oh no, please. Your I've fans. Only, I'm on three hours of sleep, please. Your fans are waiting, Des. Ah. Let's go. Vamanos. <sighs> it's fashion show time. It was crazy Insane. weather. Insane. Insane. Now, mind you, <sighs> waking up, I 
probably set my alarm for like seven o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And so I'm probably like on three hours of sleep. And then we oh wake up she to this weather. <laughs> it was crazy. I was but I, I had faith praying. though. I had faith mm -hmm. because, you know, we had been monitoring it and we mm -hmm. knew that this bad. storm shall pass. We, we didn't hell. know. There was hell too. That I was heard. Crazy thing. It was I definitely heard. And hell. And that was our drive. So, All right. so if you want to back, back here. up a little bit more to that door right there, yeah, let me go ahead and open it and go to the and that uh, work area. Then they all fit. <coughs> Very well. I mean, obviously these tables need to be moved and stuff like that, but yeah, but it'll be probably a little bit lengthier runway for them. Well, I'll see the weather and it looks like it's going to clear up after three. It's supposed to. Like, it's like partly cloudy, sunny as well. That's it, like after okay, 12 or 1. I saw 12 or 1, so wait. <laughs> it's probably, it's because it's changing. It's changing. It's, it's like, the weather. Yeah, it's going to be a constant. Yeah. We just have to hope we're the best. That. That's, it said it was going to be real windy, but the wind never picked up, so. Well, the wind was showing for later. All right. It was showing like around lunchtime and on. Like where the wind kicks in, yeah. Is it gonna be like crazy wind? That's the thing. I can check my AccuWeather. Let me check. <laughs> okay. Go away. <laughs> hey guys. Okay, so we have one of the stylists on deck doing all the models' uh, clothing, outfits, getting them dressed, having them make sure that they look fabulous when they come out on the runway. This is Shawara. Give some info. Yes, my name is Sharoya Hall. I'm actually a fashion blogger. I have a blog called I'm Pretty Thrifty, and it's just strictly thrifting clothes. Um, I love to style, love to be a part of anything fashion happening here in San Antonio. So I'm so blessed to be here with Miss Dez, and can't wait for tonight. It's going to be an awesome, awesome show. Yes. Can't wait, you guys. Hey guys, we're live and we're here at Art Pace in San Antonio, Texas. Today is Dez's fashion show. It's going to be happening. I know the weather's a little crazy. I know it's cloudy, um, but we're still doing it. She's here. Look at her. She's setting up. She's Please coming. excuse this. I will look totally <laughs> different in person later on this evening. But yes, it's still happening. We're here at Art Pace at 445 North Main Street. Zip code is 78205. Um, we're going to be on the rooftop tonight, so hope you all can make it. Um, can they still buy the tickets? Yes, we still have tickets um, available online. However, we'll be closing that and you will be able to purchase at the door. Just keep in mind that we are going to go up to 25 for general admission. Um, everything else will remain the same. So come on down. It's 445 North Main Street. It's called Art Pace, and we're happening. It's going to be awesome. 7.30 p.m. The doors open at 6 p.m. So come out, hang out with us. Um, they are going to have a little bit of refreshment. Yes, we have VIP. We'll have complimentary drinks, appetizers. Um, we have DJ Donnie D that's going to be DJing. We have an amazing host, Latoya Chanel. We have a great performer coming out. We have about 30 models from Larry Nelson's Ooh, modeling agency Larry that are Nelson. amazing. So, yes, you guys don't want to miss it. Yay, come on out. Okay. Yay. How did it look? Play it. You can play oh, it. my God. So although we knew that it was storming pretty bad, mm -hmm. we definitely had faith and you know we prayed about it and we just knew that we had to keep faith that the storm was going to pass. Absolutely. Um, we kept going. I still had um, arrangements to go pick up my pipe and drapes, my carpet. Mm -hmm. So we kept pushing. Oh Everything was still on schedule and as a matter of fact, it was 
we were like on time with everything everything that we had sequenced out and played out for that day mm -hmm. we may have been running three minutes behind the yeah. whole day so it was actually it was working out pretty good um and then mm -hmm. we get to the venue and you know me and my father are having to unload um chairs and it's Sorry. i hadn't experienced <laughs> the rain yet but at that point is when the rain just came and it was yeah. pouring on us and oh, mind no. you i didn't have a voice yes so i was sick on I that day that. i didn't even think that i was yes. going to be able to talk i was getting ready yes. to get somebody to go up there and talk for me because it was yeah. so bad um so then you know we put on our jackets and we're in and out you know having to get the chairs in and then you know the stylist comes mm -hmm. with the clothes okay. so at that point you know we start you know looking through everything we got to take everything out of the vehicle okay and then we're having to separate oh, yes. everything i see that and mm -hmm. it's i mean if you look we had 60 plus outfits for the evening wow and that's just one or two pieces together or three pieces together for one outfit so we definitely had a lot of outfits accessories that's fun and everything. that is so much fun to go through all that yeah <laughs> oh my goodness i love it but the sun did come out finally didn't it? yes yes it did we were so grateful Yay. oh my goodness it took i mean it took everything. Sunshine. A million prayers, I promise. Sun is out! Yes! Thank you! No more rain. No more rain. And, um, oh, the chairs. We, yeah, we got the mastermind chairs. Of course. And so we were just <laughs> grateful that now, you know, the rain has passed. We got some sun going. Mm -hmm. So, yes, blessed. So we're on our way to Frank's. Los Cocos Bakery. So we were driving and heading out to go see Frank Torres at Los Cocos Bakery. Yes. Frank, who sponsored and helped out with your show, that yes. was tremendous. That was huge. Absolutely. He definitely did, and we appreciate him so much. Not to mention the um, the cookies and the donuts and everything that he gave. Uh, the so delicious. We, yes. Delicious Everybody. Cookies. They're gone. <laughs> they were gone, so we had none to take home. Yay. So, yes, they were so good. He's that good? <laughs> So we're at Los Cocos Bakery and we're getting ready to take all these to Dez's fashion show. Cookies for everyone from Los Cocos Bakery. So at this particular time, when the makeup and the hair were being done, what was going through your mind? A lot. I was going crazy at this point. It hadn't even started. But I felt at this point, you know, all the models were coming in. You got to keep in mind, we had mm -hmm. 20 female models and then 10, nine male models. So wow. they were all coming in um, individually, mm -hmm. but it just felt like an overwhelming feeling because I still had things that I had to work on upstairs at the rooftop and then I had to come back down and then make sure, you know, my stylist had all the outfits arranged, mm -hmm. makeup artist, um, Karen was your, amazing. By the way, your hair and makeup looks Oh, good. yes. Shout out to, to Latasha to Crawford. <laughs> she is my go-to. <clears throat> Excuse me. She is my go-to. And she always does my hair, my hair color, my makeup for all Beautiful. of my events. But not to mention Karen, who was also the main makeup artist there for this show. She did an amazing job. She yes, had she did. all of the girls looking very nice. Oh, um, yes. <clears throat> down to the hairstylist. Yeah. It was amazing to work with them because even, you know, while they're not doing shows, they have, you know, their own businesses that they're running. So oh, uh, Mitzi was on one of them, Ronnie. Um, so we definitely had a lot of experienced hairstylists so shout out to them also i have to give a big shout out to my hairstylist um they actually did amazing um adalia was one of them mm -hmm. victoria and mitzi they 
did amazing. Um, they did. We went downstairs and we just had to let them know we want this look and this look and they mm -hmm. took charge and That's they good. were able to have them looking really nice. So I definitely appreciate their hard work. Sick. You already know. He's from St. Thomas, the same place that who is from. Well, actually, I'm from St. Croix, the okay. same place that Tim Duncan's from. Oh, there so it is. Definitely, that's a little fun fact for everybody that doesn't know. So yeah, that's. Want to give cool. a shout out to my girl Des. Definitely. Des, you're doing it, girl. You're doing it big. Keep doing your thing, Chanel. You in the house? Oh yeah. And I'm DJC, running sound. Peace out. Thank you, Cheryl. You're amazing. You definitely did your thing on the lights, the sound, and everything worked out amazing. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I appreciate it. So tell us about this scene. What's happening here? Well, I know at this point, we're actually trying to get our first scene ready. Our first set of models, which are 10, that are going to be going out for our sexy slash sophisticated scene mm -hmm. and then we're trying to get our <laughs> next set ready as well so just as soon as they come back out we can get our next you know scene going so yeah i was mm -hmm. getting all the girls um getting what type of hair that they were going to actually have for that particular scene okay. so i was calling them out and and letting them know which hairstyle so that way they go in the back and they get their hair done their makeup is already completed and then we have <clears throat> sharora mm -hmm. and june which were my stylist for the evening which happened to do an amazing job because at this point right mm -hmm. here is they when did. i kind of had to disappear to go back upstairs again <laughs> and they took over and they did amazing of course we definitely had a lot of things figured out but when it came to shoes and mm -hmm. what kind of belts and you know i know yeah. a lot of things um, kind of change right mm -hmm. so they were definitely there to pick up everything and and they had them dressed on time for every scene so yes shout out to my stylist Ooh, Tarara, great job <laughs> Hehehehe <laughs>
And I definitely want to give a special shout out to our performer during our intermission, mm -hmm. Kai Factor. We appreciate Yay. him so much. He did Yay, a great Kai. job. Thank you so much. Does. And the Larry Nelson models were amazing. Yes, they were. I was so blessed to be able to meet Larry um, for this project and her to allow me to use such amazing, beautiful, talented models. Um, blessed beyond measures. They were amazing. And your daughter? My baby. She did amazing that show. I have to say she just uh, she came out of her comfort zone. She behaved so well, and she did so good that evening. She did so good. Okay, so close your eyes. Hi. We have something to show you. Hey, a special clip. Now open your eyes. Oh, look at it. <laughs> I was trying to keep her calm and trying to make sure that she knew it was okay to be able to walk because, you know, if you see there's flashing lights, Mm -hmm. everywhere and I thought she was yeah. gonna actually kind of like get zoned out and not want to actually walk down there so yeah. that is a blessing that's she amazing did she did they good she did, great. she did my baby did so good um, I was so proud of her but I mean off of the strength of that that kind of gives me the courage to keep on going as well mm -hmm. you know just like she gets um, <clears throat> in positions where she has to overcome different challenges and obstacles. Mm -hmm. That's my inspiration inspiration to keep on going and Heck keep yeah. on fighting for my dream and making okay. it happen, you know, yes, so I definitely, um, she's my inspiration. Um, but everybody through this whole project um, that helped um, from my host, LaToya Chanel, um, being one of you know uh, the fashionistas here mm -hmm. in the fashion world in San Antonio area she did an amazing job she just did. hosting coming out keeping us mm -hmm. um, entertained and she informed did. with everything she yes. was amazing um, the models like you mentioned um, Larry mm -hmm. um, Al Zavala that actually did some of the photography yeah, yeah. AS and he actually <laughs> introduced me to Larry and made it all happen those were the first yes. things that I had in the beginning were my models and usually you have to have a casting call and make sure and, and oh, cross yes. fingers that everybody knows how to walk yes you do. well with yeah, Larry normally yes they were synchronized with every walk they did Spot every scene on. yes mm -hmm. so I was grateful for them um, definitely for all the sponsors um, that came in and helped out as well um, masterminds media that actually got all of the footage that I needed yeah, I am baby. so impressed <laughs> I am so grateful because you guys got a lot of scenes that I didn't even know were captured because I was moving all over the place thank you so thank yes you. thank you guys for thank that you, art. thank you art I appreciate <laughs> it so much <laughs> but yes yeah, so um, overall I feel like it was a great show. It was my first show here in San Antonio. Uh, definitely a, a lot of lessons that I learned and picked up and noted down. Um, weather, I feel, could have also um, acted right, not only in the beginning, but I feel like towards the end, <clears throat> towards the evening, it did get kind of cold. So, you know, for all my guests and my models that stood through it up on that rooftop, yes. Um, oh, yes. I was just blessed to have them there. Family and friends were there. Um, yeah. My daughter's teacher was able to be there, Aww. and she even said that so she cute. did. She did amazing. She's like she. I haven't seen her act this good in school, but she did amazing Aww, tonight. That's so cute. <laughs> but yes, so everybody that came out, um, it was just a blessing. So yeah, thank so you guys. Funny. Thank everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Yay. 
And I do want to give also a special shout out to the catering for the evening for our VIP section. They did an amazing job. Toby and Vince. <laughs> And then our bartender was amazing also. He is Mario from Babbling Bartenders. If I you saw guys those need drinks. one, yes. Des, how do you feel overall about the show? Ooh, overall, um, I have to say that I'm definitely blessed. I'm grateful um, for having the team behind me to make it happen. And also the people behind me that also made it happen. Mm -hmm. um, I know there was a couple of hiccups because we're, we're all yeah. being real and we're human it happens. and, and <laughs> we definitely come across errors in the process. Of course, lesson learned, um, errors, but there's a couple of things that I'm looking forward to changing in the future. Mm -hmm. Um, but overall just incredible. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if there is one thing you want people to remember you by, what is it? Um, I'd have to have to say determined, being determined um, to get things done. Um, when I set my mind to something, for example, the fashion show, it's been a long time coming. A lot of people that know me mm -hmm. know that I've been doing the business. Um, I've always said, you know, I'm gonna have my fashion show. I'm gonna have a fashion show, and yes. you know, it. You and always you did. right, but you always mm -hmm. think it's got to be at a perfect time. You know, you don't want to rush things and so for me yes. i was very determined to make this happen and and it happened and it came out great so you were i'm determined i saw that yeah <laughs> so i'm determined I'm to that yes i'm determined to keep on uh producing more fashion shows and keep on bringing trendy outfits and mm -hmm. styles to san Love antonio it. So, it. yes. so speaking of which what's in your future well um we have a lot of things in our future. Um, we're definitely going to be coming out with uh, a new website that's going to be dedicated solely just for men's clothing. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll definitely have that. Um, Great. For my husband, like some of your stuff. Yes, good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're definitely going to be also opening up a shoe boutique. Where it's gonna be solely just shoes everywhere. So I'm gonna be so broke. Yes, but a good broke, a, good broke. a, a flawless a good broke. fashionista. But I'll look good being broke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we have that, and um, <clears throat> we're definitely transitioning from online to my fashion mobile truck. I know uh, maybe about a year or two ago, we've also announced that we were gonna be going mobile. Mm -hmm. And just like that, being yes. determined, it's gonna happen. And it's now it's happen. on the roll. And so I will be going mobile. We will have a fashion mobile boutique and we'll be hosting parties. Um, we'll be doing tours. Um, we'll be at festivals. We'll be able to be mobile for any and everybody. That's so, amazing. Yes. And then um, we also have my daughter. She's autistic. So we're definitely going to start to launch clothing. Not necessarily um, we're going to do children based, but mm -hmm. more for our artistic family, our autistic family. Mm -hmm. um, and artistic too. <laughs> yes. So yes, there you go. Um, but we know the quality and the clothes mm -hmm. that my daughter wears is is different and can be different for other autistic children as well so we definitely yes. don't want to leave them out in any kind of fashionable trends so Absolutely. we're going to try to get involved and in probably get wholesale items in and make them uh, like graphic tees and sweaters and I stuff specifically for them yes. just you know by the material and the quality so that's a big project that we look forward to Lots of yes. good stuff. Yes. Desiree Torres, she never stops. She's <laughs> determined. Look out, San Antonio. Yes. Here she comes.